Hey everyone, welcome back to Sovereign Chill, I'm Kev, yeah, I, I'm sure you can understand why I've had a few days off. After the, um, the heartbreak of the, the, of the Red Wedding, as I've now heard that it is called, I needed a few days. We will talk about that shortly. About to watch the final episode of Season 3, Misa? Forgive me if that's wrong. Uh, M H uh, yeah M H Y S A. I think that's what they said. Isa, Isa. I don't know. Yeah, going back to what I said before. Um, yeah, I needed a few days off. Uh, the reason being, let's let's talk candidly here. Now, um, I've, I had been putting a lot of Game of Thrones out. I was watching Game of Thrones. I'm going back and I'm editing Game of Thrones. So I was doing a lot of Game of Thrones stuff. Um. Editing and, and seeing like Rob and, and Catelyn and and then watching it and, and then So I felt like I was really drawn into it uh, To the to the actual like the whole of Game of Thrones like overly addict, like drawn in because of how much time I'm spending on it and um, Watching kind of three episodes a week editing three episodes a week as well So I was really drawn into it and you know as well as I do Westeros is just crazy right it's just full of crazy shit going on um most of i think 98 percent of it is dark treachery backstabbing and murdering um and then there's that two percent there's a little that that little that little light that little light that you see um rob was that for me and his partner yeah there were the people i looked forward to i'm a very very old romantic you see i'm of all always have been i'm sure i was meant to be born in the 20s but yeah um <laughs> very much so so when it came to them i i, I loved I, I loved their relationship together um even from the the like the offset you could see that it was true love it wasn't forced especially all these arranged marriages and the the they, they get made to marry people that don't want to get married and these two literally loved each other um so that to me was something that I, I used to kind of welcome that um and then to have it ripped away so cruelly and coldly it just felt like like just like a complete and i was in shock let's be honest never has a show had uh, like made me have that kind of effect you know like i said before i do have to congratulate the writers on on such a great job tearing the nation's hearts out now because of how much of a shock i had i had to go to a couple of uh, reactors who i like to watch um who i've obviously never seen it i've never watched their reactions to this show because i've never seen it now i've been able to watch a few of them uh, I like obviously, obviously the goat Natalie Gold. Uh, she's the greatest uh, uh, when it comes to reactions, and um, Nikki and Stephen. Uh, there's a f there's a few that I like watching, like Blind Wave and stuff. And watching their reactions, I've enjoyed it. As sadistic as it was, I've kind of enjoyed going back and watching their reactions, even though I'm still physically distraught about what happened. I kind of had to see if other people had the same reaction that I did, and um, um, yeah, they did. Most most people screamed and shouted. Um, it's the shock. That's all it was. Because now, like, it's changed the entire. Yeah, it's changed the entire show so much. They were so huge characters, massive. Catelyn Tully. And Rob Stark, are you taking the piss biscuit? They were huge. I'm like, where does it, where does the channel, like, where does it go from here? Where does the, where does the TV series go? Like, obviously, it's, it goes for another bloody, like, seven seasons or whatever it is. But, like, the dynamic of the show have 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 been altered forever. And I'm really, really kind of. Excited. The only thing that I really can't, I don't want to see is when they find out, when the rest of the family find out that what's happened to them. 
Oh my god, Ayu was so close as well. She was so close to seeing them. <sighs> oh man. And that fucking Walter Frey, what a bell end. I, 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 do you know what? I want to get him and Joffrey and just stamp on them. But uh, that's it. That's all I've had to say. I've had a bit of time off, like I said, because it's been... it's it's, And I'm sure you understand why. It, it, it does affect you emotionally, especially if you watch a lot. And I've been watching a shit ton of it. Your fault. <laughs> You've made us watch it, people. So, I'm back. Okay, I'm going to watch some more. This one is, yeah, the final episode of Season 3. I'm excited for it. If you enjoy the channel, you can hit the like button and subscribe. And remember, we do put the full-length reactions to this over on the Patreon. I'll leave a link. So, anyway, let's do this. I am nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. I hate them to find out. That's the only thing. It's going to be like a bad one, this like. I is still probably knocked out. I've, I've kind of like been dragging me heels on this one. Not only getting over what happened in the last episode. Um, and yeah, but I've never ever in all of my life had an, like an emotional response to a show like that in my life. Oh yeah, John pissed off. Fucking Egrid's going to cut his balls off when she sees him. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm trying to make jokes because I'm really nervous. Right, let's do it. Oh my god, it's the aftermath. Gone. It's gone straight in. Bolton, you're a cock! I want him to die very slowly. Oh my god, they've just killed everybody. <laughs> Fucking awful. I didn't think it was going to follow straight on. Go on. This is the only time I've ever, ever rooted for him. Oh no, you fucking didn't. Oh, you saw it? Oh my god, I hate everyone. Oh my god, I've got PTSD over that. You should learn to ignore them. People have been laughing at me far longer than they've been laughing at you. I'm the half man, the demon monkey. Half man, bless him. Or Lannister. He's some fucking boy. He went out and did what he had to do. Anyone named Desmond Craycall must be a pervert. <laughs> I hear that you're a pervert. Here we go. Shit. Oh, it's him, the shagger. My lord, my lady, your father has called a meeting of the small council. Oh, oh fuck off, you're not even ill. Apologies, my lord. Her brothers gave her a pair of wolf pelts for her wedding. Signed, Walder Frey. Rob Stark is dead. <laughs> and his bitch mother. Thank him for his service and command him to send Rob Stark's head. I'm going to serve it to Sansa at my wedding. Oh, season. you are a fucking dick. No longer yours to torment. She's my wife. Everyone is mine to torment. You do well to remember that, you little monster. Monsters are dangerous, and just now, kings are dying like flies. <sighs> Lord Tyrion should apologize immediately. Shut up, you. I am the king! Any man who must say, I am the king, is no true king. Ooh! I'll make sure you understand that when I've won your war for you. My father won the real war. He killed Prince Rhaegar. He took the crown while you hid on a castle rock. Ooh! Don't say that to Tyrion, to, to Tywin, sorry. The king is tired. Oh, even, even Mother Bear jumped up. So much to celebrate. A wedding to plan. I can't see Joffrey living much longer. Grand Maester, perhaps some essence of nightshade to help him sleep. This... I'm not tired! Something's gonna happen. Come. And Meister is a dickhead, isn't he? He isn't even old and decrepit. When he nailed Rosalind, he was like, ah, afterwards. Walder Frey gets all the credit. Do you disapprove? I'm all for cheating. This is war. 
but to slaughter them at a wedding. Explain to me why it is more noble to kill 10,000 men in battle than a dozen at dinner. To protect the family, to defend the Lannisters, to defend my blood. The Northerners will never forget. Nah. Good. Let them remember what happens when they march on the south. Shut up, man. You have no idea what you've just done. Roose Bolton will be named Warden of the North. What? Piss off. Bolton. Oh, I want him to get bolted. Good man does everything in his power to better his family's position. When have you ever done something that wasn't in your interest? I wanted to carry you into the sea and let the waves wash you away. Instead, I let you live because you're a Lannister. Wow, that's so fucking cold. Tywin, you're a dick. Oh, Jesus, Hitch, fucking crunchies. He's heard. God, she wouldn't shag him before. <sighs> All the patter in the world's not going to sort that out. Hodor. <laughs> yes, Hodor, lad. Hodor! Don't, Hodor. I'll go inside your head and knock you out again. When the king was visiting the nightfall, the cook killed the king's son, cooked him into a big pie <gasps> with onions, carrots, mushrooms, Fed and him. bacon. He served the pie to the king. Oh, you nasty slut! His son so much, he asked for a second slice. He killed a guest beneath his roof. Yes. That's something the gods can't forget. Oh, there's foreshadowing there, people. <laughs> Walder Frey's fucked. I hate it. I want to strangle him till he, till he, oh, till he dies. <laughs> the late Walder Frey. Look at us now, Tully. Your son spent his wedding night in a dungeon and... I'm Lord of River Run. They all thought they were better than... The Lannisters send their regards. Stark, Hoster Tully, the Warden of the North. No more Starks to bow and scrape to. Here's to the young wolf. Oh, forever young. Fuck off. I heard the Greyjoy boy seize the place. I sent my bastard Ramsay to root him out. Ramsay? Stark offered amnesty for the Ironborn if they gave us Theon. The Ironborn turned on Theon as we knew they would. But Ramsay. Ramsay has his own way of doing things. That's Ramsay! Where's my line? That's Ramsay Bolton! I just cock. What? They never cut his cock off. Pork sausage. They didn't cut his cock off, please. Savage. They didn't cut his dick off, people. Do you, Max? A phantom cock. Next time you think about naked girls, when you feel an itch. Well, they have they've cut his dick off. Right. Kill me. Oh, he just wants to die now. You're no good to me, dead. We need you. I can't believe they've cut his dick off, people. What? So that is Ramsay Bolton. That's Bolton's son. I want them both to just get their dicks chopped off. <laughs> Stinky. My god, he's a psycho. Reek! That's a good name for you. Reek. Theon Greyjoy. Oh, he's gonna keep hitting him till he says Reek. Theon Greyjoy. Oh, and out he goes. What is your name? Whoa, he's a nasty little fuck, isn't he? Reek. Oh my god, I can't believe they've chopped his dick off. I mean, I know he deserved a he deserved a good kicking after what he did at Winterfell, but they've cut his dick off and called him Reek. <laughs> that's Ramsay Bolton's kid. That's uh, sorry. That's that is Ramsay Bolton. That's Bolton's kid. Oh, mate, you'd be fucking shitting yourself. Someone knock the light on. Uh, what? Tell me. Who are you? Sam? It's Sam. Sam, who are you? Gilly. Don't hurt us. Sam? It's Sam and Gilly? To Castle Black. The no John? I'm a brother of the Night's Watch. I'm gonna say. You're John's brother. The one who fell from the window. I've been round ghost enough to know a direwolf when I see one. Whoa. And I've heard all about Hodor. <laughs> Hodor. I'd be dead if it wasn't for John. Why in the world would you I want to go? I don't want to. I have to. There are steps. 
carved into the south side of the wall. Hodor can carry you to the top. Come with us. There's nothing north but death. It's the safest place for you. Kings of Westeros and all their armies can't stop. Wow, I love everything about this show. I have to go north. Wow. What would you do in that situation? God, I'm so, I hate, I hate everyone. Balon Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands and Invader of the North. On the first night of the full moon, I will hunt down every islander still in our land. Oh, they've sent his and flay dick. them living. In the box, you'll find a special gift. It's your son's Theon's cock. favorite toy. Oh. Signed, Ramsay Snow, natural born son of Roose Bolton, Lord of the Dreadford, and Warden of the North. The boy's a fool. He's still your son. He's your son. Son? He's not a man anymore. You, you fucking tr- He's your son. I hate him. Everyone's a dick. There's ship in our fleet. And she'll, they'll go with her, because she's, she's- 50 best killers on- She's the one with the balls. Ah, now she is. <laughs> Sail up the narrow sea all the way to the Weeping Wall. Find my little brother, and I'm going to bring him home. Killing my walkers. How do you know that? Because I did it. I'm a fucking G. But no one's killed a White Walker in thousands of years. I have. I'm a fucking top dog. More than you could count. I wish you'd come with us. I wish I could. Oh my God, John's going to kick off when he finds out. Yeah, I'm very surprised that they haven't like thought. Well, he's still a ba he's still the bastard of Ned. Yes, he's gone to the wall, but we don't want him getting any ideas. They'll just whack him out as well. Every time a high boy asks my name, it's trouble. I was born on Flea Bottom, just like you. You're my friend. You're here to help. I live below the Street of Flower, and here we are now, two boys from Flea Bottom in the castle of a king. <laughs> If you mistrust fancy people so much, why were you in such a hurry to trust her? Because she got her tits out. <laughs> Never been with a woman. Big words, no clothes. <laughs> what would you have done? I didn't want to be a lord. I like Sidavos. Why did you? I did it for my son. Cheer. When did you come to this strange country? You've been a good influence on our mutual friend, you know. I would kill for her. Do you think that makes it easier for me? No, I expect not. That's a tough situation Shay's in, like. Let's be honest. What do you want from me, Lord Ferris? Get on one of those ships. Sail to Pentos, or Lys, or Mir. You can buy a house with these diamonds. Why is he trying to get rid of Shay? Why do you want me to leave? Yeah. You are a complication. Your presence in the capital endangers him. There you go. Oh! If he wants me to leave, he can tell me himself. She didn't fuck about there. She just hugged the money straight down and was like, tack it. Enjoying married life. Huh. You want to make things better for Sansa? Give her a child. I used to spend hours looking at him. Tiny little hands and feet. Such a jolly little fellow. These devil horns. You always hear the terrible ones were terrible babies. Whenever he was with me, he was happy. So when did he turn into a psycho? How long does it go on? Until we've dealt with all our enemies. Every time we deal with an enemy, another one comes. We create two more. <laughs> oh my god, that was awful. I actually got to see. That's what she did. Sounded like a cow in heat. Black Walder shut her up right quick. None of the Starks had much to say about <gasps> the end of that. Don't! Stay on the body. Here we go. You sold it up. She's gonna ask them. Who are the one? What do you want? Fuck off means something different where you're from. I've got money. It's worth a lot. Oh. <laughs> what? She stabbed him in the neck? <laughs> oh my god, she fucking killed him? The hound's gonna really like that. How did you get the knife? From you. <gasps> First man you've killed. The first man. Well, I didn't think she was gonna do that. Get your coin back, Valamagoulis. She's passionate about 
death. <laughs> yes, I love it. It's so good. It's Igrit. She's there. She's not going to shoot him. Igrit, you know I didn't have a choice. You always knew who I was. What I am. <laughs> oh, she might shoot him. No, she won't. I know you won't hurt me. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Oh, bang, she's going to shoot him. I know I love you. Oh. Oh, he loves her. I know you love me. What? She shot him? She's shooting him? Calm, Ingrid, calm down, bitch. She's hit him three times. She hit him three times? Bitch. Do you remember the oath you swore? I haven't plugged her. He's not my child, Mr. Raymond. She's one of Craster's wives. Oh dear, the daughter. We didn't build 500 miles of ice wall 700 feet high to keep out men. The night is gathering, Mr. Raymond. I've seen and it. The winter is coming. It's coming for all of us. Certainly cannot send you back beyond the wall. I hope your penmanship is better than your swordplay. <laughs> I'd like to see that someday. I've been trying to stay out of those dungeons my whole life. <laughs> but now that I'm your father's hand again, keep me oh, informed. Here we go. The king does not have time for this drudgery. The nick, the night, night, watch, implores. What is it? Ooh. ooh. Why are they ringing the bells? What she, what she got up her sleeve? The usurper Rob Stark is dead, betrayed by his bannerman. I have faith, and my faith has been rewarded. I've seen things crawl out of nightmares, but my eyes were open. That uniting the seven kingdoms with blood magic is wrong. And you know how Aegon Targaryen conquered Westeros? On the back of his dragon, Valerian the Dread. My enemies have made my kingdom bleed. I will not forget that. I will punish them with any arms at my disposal. If what you say is true, a drop of his blood killed Rob Stark. And our king is still no closer to the Iron Throne. Don't kill him, though. A great gift requires a great sacrifice. Don't kill him, please. That would be so harsh. His name's Gendry. A poor lad from Flea Bottom who happens to be your nephew. What is the life of one bastard boy against a kingdom? That's so harsh. Now oh, they're gonna the fuck. Boy must die. Bastard. Ah. What are you doing? You're leaving. Aim for that star. It's gonna get him. It's gonna get him killed. This. Get uh, Davos. If you finish it off, no matter how thirsty you get, don't drink seawater. The gold cloaks are looking for me. They've been looking for me for twenty years. Huh. Do they know your face? No. I'd worry more about the red woman. Go, 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 Gendry. Yes, yes. The other way. They're gonna, um, they're gonna sacrifice uh, Davos, aren't they? You know how to swim? No. Don't fall out. <laughs> go on. When you get to free bottom, have a ball of brown for me. Davos is gonna get killed for this. <laughs> Unbelievable. John! John! I don't think he can see us. My God, he's hurt, isn't he? Pep. So, hush now. You're home. Look at that shit he's wearing, though. They're going to be like, you look like a wilding son. Yeah. Where's your, like, where's your crow armor? I can't believe you. Uh, Egret shot him three times. Yeah. My goodness. Out of the way. Step aside, country boy. People working here. I think Brienne is uh, like a really good character in this. Oh! All right. Cersei. All right. <gasps> you don't deny it. Wow. No. He's gonna die. Your mercy saved the boy's life. You feel good about that? Aye, I, I do. How many tens of thousands have you doomed? Shit. 
I hope Devos doesn't die here. Please don't. You'll we'll see at the end of the episode. Very well, Sir Devos Seaworth. I, Stannis. Sentence you to death. And first in my name, rightful king of the Andals, and the first men sentence you to die. I understand. You're gonna need me. Take him away. Well, I'm gonna need you. Yeah, he wants to. He wants to know. Oh, here we go. My king. Read it, bitch. It's from Meister Aemon of the Night's Watch. Their Lord Commander is dead. What he saw beyond the wall, it's coming for all of us. The White Walkers. Yeah, and what are you going to say about this, red bitch? This war of five kings means nothing. Death marches on the wall. Only you can stop him. Someone to convince this lord and that lord to fight for you, to bring cell swords and pirates to your side. He's right. You need him. Ooh. He has a part to play in the She saved his life? My god, he, he listens to her, doesn't he? <laughs> you see, Sir Davos? You've been saved by that fire god you like to mock. Whoa! In his army now. There's something quite sexy about her. <laughs> anyway. You didn't conquer them. You liberated them. People learn to love their chains. Ah, here they come. They're gonna absolutely love her. They're gonna worship her. Oh, no, I think they're gonna love it. They're gonna, like... We all love her. Bizi za Dinaris Hagarian, Munya za Drizoti, za Vazersko en Kajiva Derve. No. Tairi Jelvazi en Got Daor, Jevite Bagon Daor, Gemele Meli Sitibilos. Wow. Lomiri Ziri, Mesmalgon Bestila, Tolvis Jevis. Wow, she's so cool. Misa! 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 Lisa. Lisa. Oh, the dear, the lover. Mother. Mother. Lisa. 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 Wow. People would hurt me. Mother. Wow. Lisa. Look at the dragons are getting older. Oh, holy shit. My God, I'm so excited. <laughs> My God, she talks to them in the fly and they do what she says. My God. Danny's the best. This is where she gets her power. The love of the people. She's just gonna like vanish in the crowd, isn't she? And he's like shitting his cell. Like I said before, instead of ruling by fear, she's ruling by love. Yeah, I didn't say anything hurting. Like normally I was waiting, you normally wait for someone to hurt somebody. But here, like I don't have that feeling. I didn't have that feeling at all. Okay, that was a great ending. Okay, was that the end of the season? End of the season, okay. Really, really, really good ending to the season there. A lot lot of ha lot happened. Um, That final bit there that you saw. Uh, yeah, like I've mentioned before in the past. Danny has, she leads by like, like, she doesn't have people following her without a choice of their own. That's basically what she says. You're free to make your own choice. So where she did with the Unsullied, um, the way she did when she finally, where, where, when she said that to um, the rest of, uh, you know, the, the group that stayed, uh, of the Carls, uh, is it the Carls? Uh, but like, they were like, um, she was like, y you can leave if you want to sort of speak in gourds. But if you stay, you, you, we stay as free, free people. And the majority of people have stayed, and now, like, that's her, like, seems to be her work. She goes from place to place, liberating them. Um, and her army is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and the dragons are getting bigger and bigger. So, holy shit, potato. It's going to go mental in a few seasons' time when them dragons uh, reach their height. <laughs> it's going to be bad. Um, yeah, loads, a lot, a lot is going on. The whole share situation with Tyrion. Um, yeah, they've like, they've weaved that. Not in like a negative way, but they did that like a while ago with the whole getting jealous and 
now even Varus has been trying to get rid of her. So that's there's definitely something in a storyline there. I think I think maybe Tywin's gonna find out who she is, or Cersei's gonna find out who she is, like for real this time, instead of thinking it's Rosalind. Um well they can't think it's Rosalind anymore, she got fucking bolted uh, off young Joffrey. Um and obviously they've all found they've all found out about the death of our beloved characters. Well John hasn't. But a lot but the others have. And let's um let's go back and discuss Arya. Okay. So Arya started she's we always knew that Arya's a little different. She's a little bit more wild. Uh, she she's not like Sansa. She wasn't bothered about being a princess. Uh, when they even said you'll find someone like even when he, uh, dad when Ned was Ned was talking to her and he was saying you know you'll find someone and, and she's like that's not for me. Um, she's more of like a like a warrior type. Um, and then there, drop the coin. Sorry. And when he went down straight in, est, 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 right in his macaroni. <laughs> that was it. Even like it was it was great because even he was like. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, uh, what? Where'd you get that knife uh, off you? And he's like, what? Like the hound's like, what's going on? But yeah, um, great ending to the season. Uh, I'm still like, I'm happy. I've, I've made. I've, I'm really pleased. I've been able to get over that first episode because I was not dragging me heels, but I was in so much pain that it's it's good to kind of like get that one out the way um, and it was a great episode to finish the season kind of the tied off a few things and there's a lot lot of things open to play and uh, yeah uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this season with me which is I've enjoyed watching it it's been brilliant um, I will put a playlist for the other ones that I've seen down there I will put a subscribe button up there uh, thank you so much for all the love and support that you've shown me uh, in this season and uh, yeah I'll see you all very, very soon for season four.